Hello everyone, welcome back to the Year of Rogue and welcome to Crypt of the Necrodancer. If you don't know it, Crypt of the Necrodancer is a rhythm-based dungeon crawling roguelike. And so commentary on this one, it's going to be a bit of a mess because I need to hit the beats as those bars across the bottom touch the heart in the center. And so when we jump into the dungeon, it's important that I keep my combo up, not only for gold, but other modifiers as well. And so commentary might be all over the place, but our goal is to just get through all the stages and beat the boss at the end. So here we go. So immediately we have a shop. Nothing of incredible value to me. Here we have a secret room. You can see by the shadow that is cast on the south side of the wall. There's gems in this wall. And now we have our first enemies. So most of the enemies work to a specific pattern. Except the bats. Bats go randomly. There's a chest there. It does not appear to be a mimic. We get an apple, which can restore one HP later. If we are injured, more like when we are injured. And so the amount of coins dropped by our foes directly relates to our coin multiplier down there underneath the heart. So the skeletons raise their arms, then drop down. Now we can drop a bomb here to destroy this chest, this crate. I think we will do that. And it's just full of gold. So there looks like there's one room left in the lower left corner. So I'm going to come up here and get this grey chest. Should be a new weapon. It's a large axe. So if there is an enemy two tiles ahead of us when we attack, we will lunge forward into the empty space ahead of us to make that attack. So that's the whole floor. We've got all the gold. We can find our staircase here. Staircase is locked until we defeat the mini boss of the floor. And just here, we can see this rock has a crack in it. So there's something in there. Don't know what yet. We can use a bomb to find out. I will pick up this knapsack. And you know what? Let's grab a glass shovel as well. So if we break the glass shovel, we will end up with just a shard of glass, which is the same as a standard shovel. But I am going to take a longbow here. And you know what? If we eat this apple, I'll take the ring of luck as well. So the longbow does base damage, apart from if we stand on a piece of gold, our damage becomes 99. We also have great range. Now there is a room up there to the top. I need to do is kill this skeleton. Ah, never mind. We can do this instead. Now that that one's there, that gold pile, we can stand on it. 
and our damage becomes infinite. We can get this gold. Extra bomb. We can destroy that chest there. Gives us a monocle, which shows us where all the items are. We are running out of time on this floor. You see the notes have gone red. If we get to the end of the floor without the song... If the song ends and we're not at the end of the floor yet, we'll just lose our modifier as we go down. Oh, and we have to fight the previous floor's boss because we didn't do it last time. I can hear a dragon. There it is. Crisis averted. The dragons will shoot left to right largely. everything about this. Alright, we've just about got there. I'm going to push this barrel to the right. So that when we kill this guy... Oh, he didn't drop any gold. I'll just get a scroll of giantism instead. That's fine. Now there's a gold pile next to that barrel. We can pick it up, destroy the barrel. So this barrel is worth... Uh, sorry, the meat is worth like 4 HP to us or something. You know what? I would love the map. But I would not love to fight all the dragons that come if I destroy that shrine. That's a whole other problem. Do not have enough gold for that armor. I don't know if we could get enough for 750. We've already destroyed the boss on this floor. So the staircase is open. That was that dragon that we started off with. We'll hoover up the last of this gold. And I think we'll be on our way. Here's our first boss. There is a missed beat in the conga line music. Absolutely biffed it at the end by trying to strike on the beat of the missed beat then. I've lost my dagger. Biffed that as well. But three bombs is lovely. And there's a charm of defense there. But we can't dig through the stone. Now that we've destroyed our good shield, our good shovel. my combo there, because I'm bad. Let's get this gold. 
seems like there's a tiny piece of a room on the left here, but that's just where some other enemies apparently were stood. Let's go explore the rest of this floor now the boss is dealt with. This mimic wall here will chase us. Unable to hit the copy of ourselves in that particular spot. Here is a spell book of transmutation. Don't really need the scroll of giantism. But we get three more bombs. That's seven now, which is pretty good going. We are quite injured, so I will happily take a carrot. Speckled mushrooms can be destroyed. And you know what? We need a better shovel. And an obsidian shovel will give us a shovel strength related to our coin multiplier. Are we going to have enough song left to get out of this room? I think we will. Just barely. There's another meat there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bomb here. Grab these two fake hearts, and if we can overeat into those hearts, they will become full red hearts, as you see there. Also, gonna grab these boots of levitation. So now we can levitate over these kinds of traps. Stairs are unlocked. But of course we want to go and find any other loot or whatever else might be available. Particularly with our monocle showing us where any items on the floor are. And that right there in that chest is a charm of gluttony and if we have full health and eat this meat that gives us full health we will overheal to new max health levels so watch this top right corner looking at those five hearts now our max hp seven hearts that's why you go exploring unless you're speed running of course that's totally understandable. We've got a good amount of cash now. And we're ready to leave the floor. We've got enough time to come get the rest of this. side of that shrine. There's a boss coming up here. Just about managed to escape there. Right. Let's see. I would love cookies. That's just free health. Keep my circlet of seeing um, 
items. Rather than the one that would let me see all foes. kill this guy we could get another gluttony charm but we're now at the max 10 health so there's no need you see guy hiding. What I really like now is just something to increase my base damage. Because standing on gold for damage is nice. And obviously the range of our weapon is great. do nothing for us because we are at max HP. Time to try and leave. Especially because our shovel, we did not make it. Our shovel obviously relates directly to beats versus strength of shovel, but we have a boss fight first. Now we can fly over the water, so... Here makes this very easy. <laughs> Basically, sequence break, and because we got a flawless, we get to see what's in all these chests. Now, I don't need the scroll or the weapon, but I'll take the dove charm. And now, if any enemy enters the tile where that dove is, they will be teleported away. Right, there's a blood whip there. I do like a whip. But it's not what we need. What I do want is this crown of thorns. So every 10 kills, we will heal for half a heart. And with 10 max HP, that's going to keep us in good health for a long time. Now we're down to six bombs. That's now nine, which is lovely. We've healed back up to max again. This is the floor where flying really comes into its own. And after this floor, if I could actually get rid of the flying, I would. Because there are benefits to not flying on the future floors. But that's all good with me. Shop. All right. Plus one damage, infinite damage after digging. I'll swap that out. And since that shovel is free, See, there's a plus three torch. That's lovely to have. I don't want any of that stuff. So these enemies were unable to dig through the gold. That's why we heard the tapping noise. got hit, but our glass armor shattered, rather than us taking damage. Now 
Now the enemies that teleport away will be somewhere else on the floor. We blew up that teleport pad, so we'll never know what was in there. I think I'm just going to get out of here. Another shop. More stuff we don't need. Don't need that either. more damage than I would like, but having 10 max HP gives a lot of buffer. Teleporting people away all the time keeps confusing all of my rhythm. Being ready to attack folks and then they disappear. Let's blow this up. The Karate Gi doubles our damage. But also doubles all the damage we will take. Right, what boss is this? Is this chess? It is chess. Wrecked by a pawn there. Now all of these guys are going to try and promote to queens. But the good thing about the bosses like that is lots of enemies to kill to heal up with. Lots of fun and strange enemies here. this shop have anything I want? Let's see if there's a better weapon. There is not. There's a whole host of foes over here. Now these guys drop their green slime when you attack them and drop it on the ground. But because we're flying, we don't care so much about that. There's a boss. Let's see what's under this tile. Two damage, cast, freeze spell, or freeze enemies. Give me freeze enemies. Now the leprechaun will appear on stacks of, I think, 50 or higher gold. What I want to do is that now. Any enemy that gets caught in this left-hand side of us will become frozen. Which is obviously just more usefulness for us. We have to destroy the coffin as well before we can leave this floor. Not very much happening over here. 
the Shrine of Darkness there, which I often mimics. That one, not a mimic though. would like to find the shop. There it is. Do not want those headphones. They do more damage until you skip a beat and then they break. Uh, but this ring. Ring of piercing. And I should probably take this as well. It's going to reduce our max damage for a while. But now, we always shoot straight through enemies. They can't have shields against us. And a freeze charm is just lovely. Alright, let's get out of this floor. That was not what I meant to do. Oh, you... I'm mad about so many things. It's a good thing I got rid of that karate gear already. this barrel to go. Alright, let's eat one of those. This would overeat to heal us to more max HP than we have, but because we're at the 10 cap, that's not going to come into play. Transmogrify stuff. Let's transmogrify our shoes. I do not want a long jump. I don't want this long jump either. Plus one damage. Excellent. What else do I want to transmogrify? Not very much. If I could guarantee a better weapon, I would. But I can't. Of course, we're not flying anymore. We do still have some extra food. And here's all the enemies we sent away. Compass doesn't hurt. An obsidian longsword is good, but my brain has muscle memory to the longbow now. This is the mole guy. can't see what's in these, but I would like more food. Bomb immunity and plus three bombs. Also kind of great when we have so many bombs and so much health. Little baby beholders trying to kill me. It's 
So if we're stood on the electrified floor, our shots will electrify through all our foes. Which is obviously great. A healing spell is lovely. That guy attacking me on the diagonal is not very nice. I think we're just going to bounce out of here. Purchase a random item. Uh, we've got good head, good body, good feet, good torch, good weapon, good shovel, good ring. So improve my weapon for me. None of that is stuff I want. Plenty of food now. Not that we can't keep healing with our spell as well. Carrot, not really something I need. Standard bow, which is like the bow we have, but worse. Right, this will give us items that will get an extra mini boss on each floor. But there's only one more floor after this one, so I'll take the thing that freezes monkeys. And if we blow this up, we get a charm of plus one damage, which is amazing. We still have plenty of food, we still have our healing spell. This song is running out. But if I could kill a bunch more stuff. Oh god, we can't afford. Alright, this is a gamble. Gamble paid off, we now have an obsidian bow. The risk was. This will become a glass bow. So some of these creatures are now frozen in place because the game basically considers them to be monkey class creatures. So our base damage now, when we have high combo, is five. Three from our multiplier, one from our shoes, and one from our plus one charm. Now what we want to do is kill as many foes as possible to charge our spell while trying not to get hurt, which evidently didn't go so well there. Right, 
that is most of the floor. We can see what's in this chest for free. Eat the carrot, get the cheese, and take our obsidian bow down the floor. Right, final boss time. We have lots of bombs and bombs immunity. That's going to be important when we try and destroy the stage. Oh no, we got to do this. We got to do a different boss first. I'm getting ahead of myself. There goes my freaking combo. <laughs> yes, I'm bad. That went okay. If you didn't follow what was going along, we had to destroy the bells, then get him to destroy his own gong at the end. Right, I'm going to eat this chicken. Now, we are partnered up with our dad. Dad gets a broadsword. Now we've picked up a magic loot. Now we have to use this magic loot. To kill the big bad. Well, all the meanwhile trying not to die. Or have dad die but we succeed and that is a win for the year of rogue that goes into the gallery of games that i've managed to beat. i'm very impressed that we got there the first time through i think having a longbow really helped but i hope you enjoyed crypto the necrodancer there's all other kinds of characters and bosses and special modes to play if you like the look of this thing do pick it up it's a great game i have about 250 hours in it something daft but in any case thank you guys ever so much for watching if you're enjoying the series please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button if you have any questions or comments you can put them down below otherwise i'll see you in the next one cheers